Yeah. All right, the kids are gonna try the kid Listerine for the first time. Yeah, so squeeze this, just slowly, see? There you go. Now just swish it around. <laughs> killing those germs, killing those germs, killing those germs to give me bad breath. <laughs> you gonna go for it too? Bryce, Bryce has bad breath a lot of times. He doesn't need to brush his teeth good enough or something. So we're trying something to kind of help fight the bacteria. See, this one's alcohol free, so it shouldn't burn very much. It's still so lovely. It's tingly. Well, it's gonna be tingly, but it's just not gonna burn. Regular stream burns like crazy. There you go. Good job. Good morning. It's uh, Thursday and it's raining. Just as I said yesterday, more rain today and it's supposed to be like, like a lot more rain on Friday, apparently. I haven't looked at the hour to hour forecast, but that is what the forecast says. Rain, Thursday and Friday. As of right now, we have no major plans this weekend, uh, but we're hoping that the rain kind of subsides so we can actually go outside and do stuff and do things without being drenched and poured on and being cold and wet. Kids just left for school. Uh, I edited the vlog last night. I think it's two or three days in a row now. I've edited the vlog at night. It feels really good because it kind of like gives me that like breather room where I like I don't have to like right away get down to the computer and get to work. I helped Tiffany get the kids off to school this morning, which I'm gonna start trying to do that on a more consistent basis as well. Give her a little bit of help, a little bit of relief. Um, now I'll sit down, I'll finalize the vlog stuff and get it scheduled out for a normal time and then get to work on some stuff and some things. Like I said, uh, in yesterday's vlog, I got some posters I wanna put up right there. There's two posters, they're, they're horizontal, right? I got these two over here that are vertical, right? So they, they work out pretty well, even though they're getting covered up right now by monitors and stuff, but these are horizontal and they're gonna go perfect right above my desk. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. So I just put out the vlog and I just shot a video, though I just went to edit it and I'm not 100% satisfied with it, so I might shoot it again. I don't know. Last time I said I was gonna shoot it, I didn't, so I ended up cutting that out of the vlog, but I did just shoot one, but now I'm also saying that I might shoot it again, which may mean it doesn't go up today. But if it's up, it's in the cards. It'll be here in the cards. But uh, anyways, time to move on. I can't sit around doing nothing because today's my busy day, so I'm opening this. The two posters are in here that I got on Black Friday. Um, I'm super excited about them because they're both awesome and they're both Destiny, which is what I love. So I'm really excited, I'm gonna open this up for you guys. Ah. There we go. Oh yeah. Ooh, oh, so one's bigger than the other. Interesting, I thought they're the same size. So, in case you don't know, those are the three new subclasses in Destiny when the Taken King came out in September. Far left is the Void Bow for the Hunter. Center is the Sunbreaker Solar Hammer for the Titan. And here, my personal favorite, Stormcaller Arc subclass for the Warlock. And that is awesome. That's a great, great artwork there. It's the three, three subclasses, the three elementals, and it's going right above my desk. The other one is a lot smaller. I'm kind of disappointed. Like I thought this was gonna be a full-size poster, but uh, this is actually one-of-a-kind artwork. I, I forget the guy's name. His signature is right there in the bottom. There's only 150 of these made. This is number 110 that I have right here. But it's basically a drawing, a painting of Oryx, that's the bad guy in The Taken King, and the three guardians, the three new subclasses, right? There's the, there's the uh, Void Bow, there's the Arc Stormcaller and there's the Solar Hammer about to take them on, right? So that's what that is. Uh, I saw it on the, I saw it online and it looked awesome. It does look awesome, but man, it's 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 tiny. I mean, look at the size of the, the poster compared to it. So I feel like now maybe I should go get like a frame for this thing, and like and and frame it, and then I don't know where it's gonna go now. Like I, I thought these were gonna be two big posters and we're gonna go above my desk, but clearly this the poster will go above my desk, centered now. But I don't know where I'm gonna put this other picture. Like it's really cool. I mean, either way, I'm excited. Don't get me wrong; it's a great, great picture. And knowing that it's a limited edition uh, kind of holds a little weight as well. But now I gotta change my my plan. And there it is. It looks good, man. It looks real good. I like that the, the black background. Those things really pop out and really stand.
The sun is out and shining finally after a morning full of rain. It's pretty much rained all morning. And uh, the wife drug me out of the house. Yep. Told me get I had dressed, to get shower, and let's get out of the house. I had to get dressed and get showered. Get showered and get dressed. <laughs> and so we're gonna grab a light lunch for me because you already ate. Because normal people eat at normal lunch time. And I'm working. I'm busy working. Um, so yeah, we're gonna grab a quick lunch and then we're gonna go grab some stuff for dinner tonight. Some shopping. So as you're feeding your salad down your face, <laughs> I'm looking at dinner recipes. Find anything good? I think we decided on Mexican, of course, zucchini burrito boats. Burrito boats. I was looking up something a little bit healthier just because I'm back into working out and just make a healthier choice. So, looks good. Here, I'll show the picture. Oh yeah, see those look amazing to me. I'll take it. Yeah. But here's the deal. You have to help me again. Oh, of course. Okay. So. No problem with that. Thanks. Time to bust out the ingredient list. Make sure we have everything for those burrito boats. Rice, beans, corn. Got some uh, oatmeal for the kids. Looking at breakfast burritos right now. These are nice. Rice, Rice likes his uh, breakfast burritos. He likes breakfast in general. Both our kids are really like big breakfast eaters. I am not. You're not really a breakfast eater either though. In general, Tiff and I both kind of like skip breakfast. We'll do coffee, maybe like one small thing, but you don't like to go out to eat for breakfast. You go to eat for lunch, which I do too. I'm not big on breakfast. I like a good omelet or frittata. That's about it. That's all I'm really like. I, I crave is like some kind of like hearty breakfast. I'm not a big fan of like pancakes and waffles, and that's the sweet stuff, which is what Sierra's all about. Bryce loves his egg sandwiches, his burritos. You know the tricks, huh? How many? It says one, but... We'll grab two, because yep. it's our family. <laughs> so we are back from school, and Bryce has a little project he's supposed to finish, which he did it in class. So we're gonna do it right now. And it's a little, it's about, what do you call this, volume mass? Yeah. Well, it's got <laughs> liquid mass, gallons. I love this. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> oh, it kinda looks like cat moon. <laughs> Get me with the face. So, says, what'd you learn from this price? Um, two points go into one quarter. Four quart. Quart. Um. So yeah, four four cups, four cups go into one pint. Yep. So that means eight cups go into one quarter. All right, kids are home from school and uh, wrapped up all the work for the day. We're in the kitchen now, getting ready to make Tiffany's uh, Mexican burrito bo boats. I want to say bowl, burrito Mexican. bowl. Zucchini. Zucchini boats. Boats. <laughs> boats, boats. Yeah, no, we showed them the picture already. So, oh, hands cold. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. So, yeah, so here are all the ingredients laid out for us. These are our boats. We're going to cut those open and gut them and make our boats out of those. Cilantro, red onions, red bell peppers, jalapenos, cheese. Brown rice, black beans, corn, salsa, chili powder, and ground cumin. Sierra's gonna help us. I don't know if she's seen like a jalapeno like this. Unless it's like, I've seen like grilled ones with bacon wrapped. So, if you were to bite into that right now, it would taste like a green bell pepper. But it would be spicy. That tastes exactly like a green bell pepper. Now, actually, it'll have a little bit of different flavor, like a little bit. Like, I like the flavor, but it's kind of plain. Yellow Hots and Habaneros taste amazing, but they're even more spicy. So we started to start getting ready to start cooking and Tiffany realized she bought regular rice. It takes 45 minutes to cook and not instant rice. So I'm here at Food City to grab some instant rice and some chili powder because all we have is paprika and we need chili powder. So quick store run. All right, so far I have a half a cup of chopped red onion, which made me cry. Oh, yeah. She's like, what was your question? I said, I thought, because you told me that onions make your eyes burn and that's why that you cry. I was right. like, oh, I thought they just make you cry. No. Like, and then I asked, how does it make you cry? Like the scent or the air that it, I don't know. How does it make you cry? They're just so strong that your eyes burn and then you literally start crying. <laughs> and then uh, red, uh, red bell pepper cut up. I thought those were tomatoes. So we're about ready to throw those in a skillet with some olive oil. Oh, we gotta heat that up. Wait, bef before we do that, though, before we get that started, we have to take our zucchinis. We're gonna cut them lengthwise in half and then gut out some of the insides, like core them. So that's gonna be our boot. Cut them in half. These are the 
biggest zucchinis we could find. So, we'll have to do. One is degutted. Okay. Voted out. I don't know. <laughs> you want to try one? Sure. Kind of hard. Like we said, don't take out too much. Oh. Still want to eat some zucchini too. Kind of reminds me of carving the pumpkin with like all the. Yeah, it does. It feels like. It's a gourd. Pump pumpkins and zucchinis are part of the same family. Yeah, that's oh, true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Squash. Squash, zucchini. Um, yeah, some squash or some pumpkins look like squash. Mm-hmm. There's, there's, a, there's like three or four. There's, not, it's not a big eggplant. Eggplant. They're, they're all part of that kind of family. <laughs> 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 are you okay? Yeah, I just kind of tweaked it. No. <laughs> no. Oh, no gym for mommy tomorrow. You guys, so, so I was at Food City, right? Grabbing some rice and some, uh, some, some pepper and stuff. Anyways, uh, as I'm standing there for the checkout, I just happened to glance over and I spotted something I got really excited about. I possibly have found the last two Destiny Red Bulls in the state of Arizona. Because I tell you, everywhere I go, I don't really necessarily crave a Red Bull, but I'm always looking for these Destiny Red Bulls because they have the code underneath the tab for extra XP. And they only had two. I went, after I saw those two, I grabbed them, and then I went to every other register looking to see if like they had more, like maybe they had like an, an extra shipment somewhere. These were literally the last two, and so I snagged them up, and I'm like, I get all excited because I'm like, sweet, that's, that's two, more, uh, you know, two more XP boosts for Destiny. So, yeah, they don't quite all fit in here. <laughs> so you're gonna brush the olive oil inside each one. Show me paint the zucchini. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Mine's, mine's got layers. Well, mine's I, was, layers. I was wanting to show you guys. No. Oh. So the onions underneath, because those have to cook the longest. And again, the bell peppers. Bell peppers, salsa, corn, black beans. And then the rice, but it's not quite ready yet. Rice is still cooking, yeah. Chili powder and cumin, which I love cumin. Cumin, I don't know. You don't have cumin? Does it have basil on it? Cumin it stinks. I don't like it. You don't like it? <laughs> oh, this one's good. Yeah, it kind of smells like chipotle. Like, um, I saw something like we've that cooked before. We've cooked with it a lot. I love cumin. Give it a stir, okay. stir it up, stir it like up. This? Yep. There you go. Filling them up. All right, here's how, how they looked. They turned out pretty good. Yeah. I'm, I'm very interested in how the whole zucchini thing is going to be because everything else looks amazing and if it was maybe a bell pepper like that's what told me to me I'd be excited about bell peppers but yeah. zucchini I'm like this is gonna be interesting I like halibacitas though I mean so it's gonna be good we'll I see like well, I already have that called you have yours called <laughs> Ooh, gooey one yeah. you got some avocado on the side some hot sauce extra cilantro for me and Sierra you excited mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right what's the verdict it's good. How, how is it? Oh, it's good. <laughs> you guys like it? Yeah. Yeah. I knew it was good. Good. Right. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? It's good. Oh, oh. So... You're liking it? Even with this the zucchini? The Even with the zucchini? Yeah. Mommy, it turned out exactly what you wanted. I like it. I like it a little better. better. I was a little worried. <laughs> so now the real question is, is how many of you guys would eat one of these? Right? It's all vegetables. There's no. There's no meat. There's some cheese on top. Because our kids love delicious. it. And we're very fortunate that our kids love vegetables as much as they, as much as they do. All right, guys, before we end the vlog, I'm going to open up a piece of mail. This is from Harry, and I'm assuming it's from another country. Oh, New Zealand, yeah. Ackland, New Zealand. So we're going to open up this. Uh, got some pictures here. It says, Dear Clint, Bryce, Sierra, Tip, and Baby. Hi, my name is Harry. I'm uh, 11 years old, and I live in Ackland, uh, New Zealand. I love soccer, tennis, Clintus TV, watching other YouTubers, and skateboarding. Please follow me on Instagram. He gives him his username. Uh, Clint, you are an awesome role model to your kids, uh, gamer, dirt bike rider, and husband. Tiff, you are a great mom, mum, you're a great mum, uh, wife. You're a huge risk taker and a great role model to your kids. 
Uh, Bryce, you're a great footballer and baseballer, respectful, funny, and always happy. Sierra, you are a great artist, volleyballer, uh, respectful, and tough. Thanks for taking the time to read this from Harry Webb. And then there's a picture here he drew. It looks like uh, my name. We've got Clint. Did, this looks like something, that you, something you do, Sierra. Each letter has its own like artwork yeah. to it. Mm -hmm. And then we've got one for Tiff. He was smart and shortened your name. <laughs> yeah, I tried doing my name. Sierra. And Where's this? got one from Bryce. And it says, have a very Merry Christmas. A little Christmas tree there. And then last looks like a Twitter logo says, please follow me on Harry uh, Philip W. So there's, a, there's his Twitter name right there. There you go. Well, thank you very much, Harry. We appreciate it. And there we go, guys. That's today's vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. A little longer than normal. Uh, feels good. Feel good to vlog. It's vlogged up a storm today, man. I actually made that other video. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and watch it now. I watched it once, wasn't 100% happy with it, was gonna shoot it again. Didn't shoot it because life, because of the reasons. So I'm gonna watch it again and see if it's really as bad as I thought it was. And if my message wasn't there, I, I didn't quite say what I wanted to say, I'll shoot it tomorrow morning. If, I, if it does go up, it'll be up in the cards right here. If it doesn't go up, then it'll go up tomorrow and you'll see it tomorrow. So either way, see you tomorrow. Vlog on.